riddle me this, my friends. I'm not sure if Football Manager has it wrong, Football Manager doesn't have enough detail, or if Wikipedia is wrong, because you don't always believe everything on Wikipedia. Wikipedia says that the winners of the semifinals in CONCACAF, this is on the CONCACAF 2020 Olympic qualifying page, up there at the very top, winners qualify for men's tournament at the 2020 Summer Olympics. That's not what Football Manager says, my friends. All right, my friends, it's episode seven. I don't know what to make of Wikipedia versus what the rules say in qualifying. Winner quali qualifies for the Olympics. That's not what Wikipedia says. So I'm curious how that works. Is, is FM wrong or is Wikipedia wrong? Because, you know, not everything on Wikipedia is right. But I would like to think... World Cup, or not World Cup, Olympic qualifying, they would have it right. But, you know, fair play, they may not. So we take on Mexico today, and then we're going to hop forward a little bit to take on Canada. And we'll see if we can call back, like, Christian Pulisic and Weston McKinney and all of our guys that hopefully aren't cap tied to the Olympics or, like, competition tied something. I don't think that's the case, but you never know. Never know. Things are weird. Here we go. I got the old kit. Uh, needs, to, needs to get an update. I did have a question recently about is there any kit packs. I, I'm assuming there are. I have not looked. That is something that needs to go on that list with the face packs and logo packs and stuff like that. But generally, if you can find a place with face packs and logo packs, there would be kit packs as well. They are favored. As you do. Expected. We roll out our strongest squad available that's not injured. So we go Aboba up top, Wea and Pulisic, McKinney, Adams, Durkin, Holden down the middle, Reggie Cannon and Robinson on the wings as, uh, you know, left and right backs, or not in that order, right and left backs, Cameron Carter-Vickers and Justin Glad. I almost played Eric Palmer-Brown. He's They're pretty similar. Carter-Vickers is slightly better defensively in terms of according to the attribute analysis. Um, Haji Wright coming in, not Matt Sharp. Hopefully we do not have to play him. Um, we have all kinds of subs. I think we're, we're fairly good here. Jalen Lindsay needs to switch with Brendan. He's played well, to be fair, right? He's got two goals and two starts. Um, but he is a two and a half star. He's 18 years old. You know, I'm, he's not better than McKinney and Adams and Durkin. So, but he is a good option because these, you know, these guys are not exactly full of energy. Talk about a grind to qualify for the Olympics if it's only one team. I've got to think it's two teams, but we are. I, I did check the schedule. They are not on the schedule, um, the games fixture list for next year. Um, I and I was checking the under twenty three fixture list. So they are lining up to match us, my friends. They are lining up to match us. Um, I do want to check something. Oh, it's okay. Right. So we figured out it's the assistant that's doing all the team talks. But the thing that's weird about that, I checked the responsibilities. There is no responsibility section for under 23s. If you go look in the game, I guess I could show you that. Right, you go to your staff normally, you go to your responsibilities page. What are you responsible for? Okay, these things. What are staff responsible for? This is nothing. But if you come down here and you look at each one, like scouting or match, right? That's the big one. Match day. This is... Again, under 20s, handles touchline instructions for the under 20s and the under 19s. There is, oh, did I, did I change it? Okay, I didn't change it by rolling over it, did I? I hope not. So there, there is not an under 23 section. I think that might be a bug or, or like an overlook thing. Apparently we made changes. Good thing we discarded that. So... That's a place where if you're wanting to change, you, you probably know this. Maybe you don't. If you're playing with your club, you can change who's responsible for what. There's the sound kicking in. But I just think it's a little odd that, like, you're going to let me do the under-23 thing. But there's not an under-23 section. But apparently that means the assistant manager does all the team talks. And that probably explains as well why the shouts haven't been working. Because I'm guessing, I haven't seen it up here. But I'm guessing it's because the assistant, oh, now it's working. Because the assistant has been doing the shouting. Right? So, like, you can only shout, like, every 10 minutes. So at least that's what was an FM19. I haven't timed it here um, with the save. But that's... Mm, oh, okay. That works. 
I thought that was kind of a in between both of our guys there, Robinson and McKinney, but it works out. That is a, an aggressive pass. Pulse like brings it down though. I'm gonna have to stop talking because we're gonna score a goal here against Mexico. Robinson. Oh, gets it past his man. Tries to oh and brings it down. Weston McKinney smacks it home in the 14th minute. Come on, lads. Still no crowd there. I'd like to think there's crowd there. We will check at the at the end of the recording. I'm gonna guess that there's a number of people there. It is the final. So, maybe they already know about it at, at SI. So, again, if you hear me saying these things, I'm not complaining. Like, I know this is a beta. I, I probably should have said that like two episodes ago. It's more, I don't think it's normally supposed to be blank. Just so in case you're like, well, am I going to buy the game or not? Like, I think that is a bug. I think the 28,000 people reporting for Cuba was also a bug. But, um, so that's, that's where we're at, my friends. Whoa, Vega. Oh, that's like uh, Street Fighter, huh? Vega, right? Is the guy's name? It's been a long time since I played some Street Fighter. So, or Street Fighter 2, or whatever it was. I do can enjoy that. Adams on a 6.5 and quite knackered. We might bring him out here at the 60th minute. We've already done the team talk. This is easy peasy, limit squeezy. Off we go. Hey guys, great team talk. Get back out there, win the game. Should we take it to being more balanced? I'm not sure. I like positive. It's, we, we've done all right with it. We've created more um, shots on target. They, you know, like we're not creating any more chances than them, but they've had four shots, but none of them on target. We've created oh, seven shots with three of them on target. I thought that was going to be a wonder goal by Christian there. Adams is looking quite tired. We might, he might be coming out here. He's going to get a red card. I thought that was going to happen. McKinney just deftly takes it off the foot of the opposition player there. Tim Weah brings it down, chests it down. I like the pass it. Oh, mate. Oh, mate, who is that? Abobase is unhappy. He's got to be furious. I mean, I get it. You're one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, but if you're going to put it out wide like that, trying to go for the far post, you might as well pass it to the guy making the run towards the middle slash far post so he can tap it in. Selfish play. Oh, McKinney again wins it. Can he find a player? He does. He finds Christian Pulisic. Abobase makes another run. He's holding back. He's kind of irritated, so Christian's just going to shoot it. But say, I mean, I'd be demotivated too, man. Jeremy, it makes sense. Like, you made the last run, weigh it. I mean, they're like, oh, European players versus MLS players, you know. And, oh, Adams is on a 6.4 now. We need to take him off. I don't think that's a thing, but it was... It's a momentary lapse in uh, decision-making by way of there. Okay, passes back out. Cannon, is he overlapping? No, he's just they're playing onesie twosies here. Plays it back out. Goes for the cross. No, goes back to Durkin, holding it up. Adams, who's he going to find? He's going to find Robinson out on the wing. Cuts it into way. He's going to shoot. All right. Fair play. That one. You're not really expecting to go in. I, I It doesn't mean the last decision wasn't a poor one, but... I mean, that's just poor keeping, right? That's just poor keeping. They've, they've subbed a winger on for a winger. We're going to take Adams off here and bring on Brendan. Oh, boy. We are really, really, really tired, my friends. 30 minutes to go, putting their bodies on the line to get us to the Olympics, regardless of what happens for the you know, the uh, second place team, the one who loses this game. Oh, that's a poor pass from our advanced playmaker. That is not playmaking. De La Rosa on the break. Don't give up a penalty. Penalty. I knew I could. Oh, Cameron Carter Vickers. Isn't that what he's known for? CCV, we got to change your reputation, son. We got to change your reputation. Keeper was there. I mean, it's he's. Oh, blocked. Did, did the net move? We'll go back and look at that as well. It looked to me like the net moved. Pause. Did Let's watch the net. Net moved. We're finding all kinds of goodies. Again, I'm not unhappy. This is, this is part of having access to a beta early. Like, not complaining. Let me be not complaining. All right, we're going to bring on Jalen Lindsay to see if he can see it out just because Cannon is so tired. 
way it might go next, we might bring on like another midfielder or Eric Palmer Brown put three at the back with the with the fullbacks slash wingbacks. McKinney and Wea are knackered as well. Okay, he's praised. And apparently we have bugged this thing out. It's gone all the way back. You see that? Oh my. Oh, I got nervous. I got super nervous there. Oh, oh, he's... The assistant is just butchering it here, my friends. It's not gone well. It's not gone well. We're going to bring on, to help out our back line, Eric Palmer Brown holding down the middle. Uh, and we'll put... Uh, hmm. Yeah, he can come back here and hang out. That's fine. Just a little more, you know, back. Of course, now you, you get all nervous when you start making changes like this. An immediate highlight, because that's how football manager works. So we need to check the attendance, and I need to send up that report. Pulisic, putting in some work. He's tired. You like to see it, though. Whoa, goodness. What? 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 What was that? Eric Palmer Brown pings it out. Oh, I meant to... Let's go ahead with some time wasting. Be more disciplined. Uh, let's hold a shape. Let's regroup. Let's slow down the pace. Just kind of, you know, slowing it down a little bit. What was that shot from distance? I just want to ask the question. Driving forward. Again. He has been given license to shoot from wherever. Who is that guy? He's the right back. And he's not a substitute, so it's not like he came on with instructions like, go shoot from anywhere. Right? Like, that is really odd, to be honest with you. Robinson pings it. Pulls it. Nice. Cuts it. Oh, wing play. We are all about the wings, all about the play. Robinson crosses it over. Pulls it. Oh! Four bites of the cherry! Oh my goodness! How have we not scored a third to put it away? Oh my goodness gracious! Oh, oh, oh. my friends! I mean, we're apparently we're gonna win this game unless something horrific happens. But oh, it's getting a little jittery. Makes you nervous. The ticker tape is a little slower than last year. That's a lot of ticker tape. Only half the field still. I'm going to wait for it to land. There, he finally landed. They came on it in the second half, but again, how many of those shots were from way, way outside? Manager nails it this time. Everybody's loving it. So we've qualified for the Olympics. I wonder if it says anything else. They canceled our friendly... Come on, lads. Fixtures. Nothing. So we'll have to see if that changes anything. I, I Again, I've said it like 700 times the last few episodes. I think that's massively important for us as a nation to have qualified for the Olympics. Because that means that would indicate, that'd be a good indicator. Again, I know we use some of our other guys, right? But that's an indicator We've got some good youngsters coming through, right? At non-starters, Justin Glad, Cameron Carter Vickers, who's played a little bit, Chris Durkin. I don't know if he's he's not been he's not out of cap uh, in real life. Um, Abobase, Eric Palmer Brown, Gloucester, Lindsay, Aronson, Blana, Mendez, Jonathan Amon, who you guys in the comments were asking for. Haji Wright didn't really participate, but he was there. Uh, Lanez, Sauter, who I've never heard of. and hey, The goalkeeper position is the most shaky, let's be honest. All right, um, let's hop forward and I guess play... I wonder if I can... I'm going to try and schedule another friendly and then we'll play Canada. Man, it is annoying when you go to cap tie a player and he gets injured. Now, he did play in the game. We did we did play a game against Nicaragua, um, who are, I don't know, they're pretty far down there in terms of ranking. 122nd. But, like, literally, we went to book a friendly, like, three weeks in advance or whatever, and there wasn't hardly anybody available. And he did well. Came in, scored a goal. Quite nice. Happy with that. 
I've changed the colors a little bit. I'm really unhappy with the color situation. I think it's just the purple. I'm going to end up going to the dark theme at some point, but I want to leave it stock for as long as I could, just changing some of the colors. But I just... I don't know. It just... The, the bright green is too bright. And I, somebody made a comment and said, you know, you should have the highest, like the tw the 20s, be bright green because that really stands out. And that's true. And so I changed it a little bit. I just don't... I, don't, it, I want it to really pop on the screen to be like okay and i don't think it pops as much with the purple anyway that's just my opinion you can i don't know take it or leave it i guess but anel sab saban i'm not why am i trying that it's late my, my stomach hurts but we're recording we're trying to cap tie him so that Bosnia and Herzegovina do not steal him. Look at the length. This guy's he's an international. But he's overjoyed to have scored his first goal for the U.S. So he's got two under 20 caps. The good news, my friends, and that I did not realize, is that our under 23 Olympic qualifying cap tied the players. That's what it says. I can't remember the actual rules. I think that's right because it's not an under 20 situation. But a bunch of the players that we played in the under-23 tournament or qualifying for the Olympics now are declared cap tied. So, the players that aren't are all starting <laughs> today. Because this game, we've already qualified. It sent me a thing like three days before the game said, oh, you've qualified for the Gold Cup. And then lots of like hilarious um, social media things like how we deserve to be there. We should always be there. And then like we're going to get knocked out in the first round. This is terrible. I just thought it was kind of, I don't know. It's just, the social media thing is always funny to me. Um, so because of that, I want to give some players a chance and, and to cap tie them. So Jesse Gonzalez, who's the goalkeeper for FC Dallas, he's done all right this year, but he's going to come in. We don't necessarily need him to be cap tied. He's declared already, but I just wanted to give him a chance. There's no need to get Ethan Horvath and Sean Johnson another chance, I guess. Um, Julian Araujo has Mexican nationality. He played in the last game, but we are going to start him so that he is cap tied. Austin Trusty, who got injured the last time, doesn't have other nationality, but we want to just make it official, Austin. I'm just saying. Uh, Sauter here uh, again has the Swiss. Swiss nationality uh chris durkin doesn't have another, another nationality but he's a dm we want to get him his, his first official cap M mckinney gonna help out in the midfield uh alex mendez getting his first uh cap tying cap stealing him away from mexico my friends pulisic jonathan amon who has now played twice but is not cap tied which is kind of funny i mean it's not funny but He's played against Peru and Nicaragua in friendlies, but not been cap tied. He did come in and score a goal last game, so I was quite pleased with him for, for that. Um, but what I don't understand here is he did play in the Olympic Games. Whoop. So it doesn't have him cap tied. And I'm I'm not understanding that. He played on the under-23 squad. The other, maybe it was the other ones were already just declared. It just, it, it felt like as I was checking, I was like, oh, I don't need to call that under 23 player up because they're already cap tied. But maybe, maybe I'm just wrong. Maybe it was just that they had all, you know, sometimes in uh, Football Manager, they've already like pre declared, like, hey, this is where I'm going, even if I haven't played a game. So maybe that's it. I don't know. I just thought it was interesting. Um, so Justin. Gl I just looked at that while I was talking, and I don't remember what I just said. Doesn't have other nationality, but we'd like to play him if we could. Uh, Matt Olsunde, who looks quite good, my friends, is declared for us. Uh, Kellen Acosta, Tyler Adams on the bench. He can come in if we need him to. Tim Weah, Paul Ariola, Jordan Mortis, Josh Sargent, back from injury. And then I was going to play this Anel kid. But no, I don't get the opportunity to do that. Um... So we'll see if our really, really rotational team can beat Canada. It doesn't matter if they beat us. It's they'd only be on seven points, but they, you know, they've they've done the job against Cuba. They're not at risk of going 
down to uh, the Nations League Division B, or League B, or whatever you want to call it. It calls it Division B here, but you never know. I like all the green. That's quite, it's quite nice. It's quite nice. And it happened so late, like it was like literally the day before the game that we can't call anybody up. So, unfortunate. So let's go cap Tyson player, shall we? Enjoy. Weston Mc... Oh, no. Yes, Weston McKinney takes the captain's armband. We've moved him over. He's right-footed to the ball-winning midfielder on that side. Here we go, my friends. We've been on a good run, lads. It's been good, good 2019, right? Qualify for the Olympics. Um... Oh, he's reigned supreme. I said he's resigned. He's reigned supreme in seven appearances on a 6-9-6 with two goals. This is more impressive. Eight appearances with six goals. Is this the guy that plays in uh, Scotland? Yes, it is. Come on. Props for knowing parts of the Canadian national team. And wait for the sound. Uh, yeah. All right. We have gone balanced on it. Not pure counterattacking, but I, I'm curious what you all think now. I'm, I'm recording a little bit in advance. Um, like, episode four just came out today, and I'm recording episode seven to kind of give you a peek behind the curtain. So I'm curious what your, your thoughts are on the type of football we're playing. The tactic, the wing play, the, you know pressing the tighter marking oh my goodness that was that was bad <laughs> like that was there's no saving that from being horrific horrific i can't even get the word out it was so bad mendez plays it back i do see a lot of those passes which i kind of like i do think the animations and like the some of the passing like i've seen balls about to go out and a player will run and like back heel it back in towards a teammate not just like back heel it not just like run past it and stand on it like they did in fm19 but like actually doing something with it has been quite nice mendez is he? yeah robinson's on side waits for his defender oh does him in there jonathan Amon plays it and then that's an easy tap in for west mckinney that my friends was lovely i think waited until the guy committed and then got around him Waited for Jonathan Amon to kind of come over and support, and then he passed it along. Again, kind of a cutback. Not a pure cutback, but puts it on a platter at the penalty spot. Smacks it home. That was nice, my friends. I enjoyed that one. We did kind of luck out, I think, in the fact that the, f uh, the first window was the one... I guess everybody has one, right? Like, I was just thinking, like, this window, we only have the one game against Canada that, like, from a, a competitive standpoint, that matters. Versus they just had to play, I think, just had to play Cuba. And so, but then everybody at some point had a two-game important thing. It's just nice that it's at the end. And we can, we're, like, we've already qualified. We've already won the group. We can go ahead and capitalize some players, all that kind of stuff. So, Robinson takes his time. That was kind of an odd angle, wasn't it? I was kind of like, what is he waiting for? He was just sizing it up, maybe? You know, teaching my son football. Got to have your eyes up. Eyes up, look around, look around. Oh, they really got to fix this replay. This is bizarre. The 3D. It just pings it. I think the keeper will be disappointed there. As will his teammates. I'm hoping Jordan can do something here. He's not been doing great. You know, since the kind of initial onslaught. It's like the, the new manager bounce. It's like the new team bounce. Durkin clears that away. Anchorman. Enjoy that, my friends. Eight shots, four on target. No cook cool chances. Equal and half chances. And yet we are somehow ahead. 2-0. Robinson. No one knows what's happening. Keeper doesn't come out. Robinson turns around before taking a touch, which is kind of interesting. Did I say this already? The the thing with uh, Jordan is... It, okay, 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 okay. Uh, he put on... I, I thought it was only once, but maybe... It, it's hard to find information in English about um, Stade Rene. Um, 
but it said that his the pfuk at p e f o k was honoring one of his uncles who was had was like a promising footballer but gave it up so that he could do uh, like his studies um but i thought it was only once is how kind of the translation of the article read but you know how that kind of works with translating articles so i'm kind of curious if that is something he always does and if so i'm really impressed that sports interactive knows that if that's the case I think penalty replays are silly. It went in. I'd much, much... Oh, we've injured Jonathan David. Oh, old lady plays is going to be upset with me. Um, I do think it's much more important to see what caused the penalty, right? Like, replay that. Because most of the penalties are, you know, they go in. They go to a corner and hit it hard. It's not like uh, any crazy skill on most of them that I see so I'm not saying there's not any skill involved but I'm just saying I'm just saying Matt um oh let's go to the tactic screen you can play oh talk about versatility love you love to see it you love to see it we're take pulls like off no need to risk him thanks for coming sir uh Let's give Tim Way a run out. I'll bring in Sergeant. Mm, not just yet. Not just yet. Sorry for injuring Dave, uh, Jonathan David. Okay, they took Davies out. They're like, you know what? We're not going to win this. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Get our best player off the pitch. Don't blame him. I'd do it too. Uh... We wanted to cap tie Justin Glad. These guys are playing really well back here. Have Kim come in. And then it just kind of doesn't matter, does it? I could take off Weskin McKinney to bring on Acosta. I do want to see if Sargent could get something done. We 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 need to he he he's working on the complete forward thing, so we want to give him as many opportunities as we can. Kind of coming off the bench. Altador was injured again. Uh, I think he would have been fine for this game, but it's like, you know what? We, we didn't need him. Gives us an opportunity to give somebody else that spot. That was a powerful header. What, has he got a, a spring in his forehead? Goodness gracious. Like, We've now created another half chance and a full chance. A clear-cut chance, even, you might call it. Oh, uh, there's an opportunity. First, I should have taken a touch. Should have taken a touch. Get under control. Araujo plays it back. Mendez. That ball split through the lines. That was lovely. Robinson. Or not through the lines. Between these two players. Whatever that is. Araujo. Deflects. Jonathan Amon with the reaction skills of a ninja. That ball clattered in front of him and he smacks it home. That was kind of unbelievable. Was there much intent in that? I mean, really, that is an amazing reaction speed. Are you serious? Like, oh, it's hitting that guy. I'm going to go ahead and get my leg swinging here. Like, good grief. And it is a massacre. It is 4-0, my friends. We pitched a shutout. Love it. Temway is not interested. Weston McKinney gets the man of the match in a... Brace of assists and a goal on a 9.2. Not bad. Son Christian Pulisic puts in a bang average game. Sabachu puts the penalty in. Man, you guys are fine. Chill, 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 chill. I mean, I guess I understand. All right, my friends. So let's hop forward just a second to see if we can go ahead and see what the scheduling looks like. Well, this is interesting. So the Olympics aren't until they aren't scheduled until May twentieth, uh, and don't start until July twenty third. And we've qualified for those with the under twenty threes, but the gold cup that we qualified is in twenty twenty one, which I, I guess I figured out. But it's just like that's interesting from the Nations League. So what else do we do? What ha 
what happens in 2020 is there any competition in 2020 are we just gonna skip through that i've not seen it yet i can't right now i'm so tired and i don't feel great that i don't remember what happens uh but i thought maybe it's wor come on oh come on There we go. That gets scheduled on Friday, December 6th, and doesn't start for... So the Olympics is the next thing? Is that what I said? Olympics? Surely we're going to have some friendlies. Before we, I mean... All right, we're going to go figure that out. I'm not, it's not the most exciting end of the episode, but the, what is exciting is we've captained a bunch of players. Um, that is supremely exciting, to be honest with you. Now we get to drop them and say thanks for playing. I can go ahead and drop the uh, caps thing from the columns. Thank you very much. Don't need that anymore. That's where we're at, my friends. Um, I'm going to make some changes here. I don't know what the next episode is going to be. I don't know who we're playing. I guess it's... I, I don't know if I necessarily want to show you friendlies unless they're like, I don't know, big teams or something like that. And I guess we might just hop forward to the Olympics. I don't know. If you've enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. Sorry, I kind of, I feel like I kind of finished on a meh because I kind of feel that way. Um, if you enjoy this kind of, kind of content, if I can get that out, it's real smooth when you, when you butcher that. You can go to patreon.com slash grayhairgaming to support the channel. All right, my friends, I'm going to go figure this out and vacation for like eight months. We'll see you then. Have a good one.